How do you add ruler guides here in Illustrator? Well, the first thing we need to do is actually show our ruler. We go up to the view drop down, down to rulers, and then we can do show rulers. That's command or control R to quickly toggle rulers on and off. Once you have rulers, you can pull out guides. So if we want a horizontal guide, then grab our horizontal ruler, click and drag and pull out a guide. Same thing with the vertical. Want a vertical guide, click and drag to pull out a guide over here. So we can add ruler guides that easily, you can see how they go up to the ruler. Now, if you aren't able to select it, which you should be able to, to move them around again, then you need to go up to view, down to guides. There's lots of options here, like you can hide guides with the shortcut key command or control semicolon. That's the same one as in Photoshop, so you could remember that. And that's a really quick way to clean up your document, but just hide the guides and not actually delete them and then you could unlock the guides. So right now I can't move it because it's locked. So we can hit unlock guides and now I can actually move these guides around. I can select them, press the delete key to delete them and clear them out, or I can move them around really easily. So you can move them to specific spots. They will uh, connect to your shapes and snap into place if you have smart guides turned on. So in the view drop down. You can see down to, I believe right here, smart guides is check marked. So that helps the guides actually lock into different intersection points with your text or your shapes and objects. And that's how you can quickly place guides from your rulers out here in Adobe Illustrator.